The incidence of bidding collapse across the country has assumed alarming proportions in recent times, and authorities at both the state and federal levels are bracing up to tackle the situation through investigation and research. The collapse of a section of an approved six-story building undergoing construction opposite the Delta Mall Asaba, popularly called ShopRite, on the 14th of last month is part of the incidences that has attracted the attention of the Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, NIBRI, an institute under the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology responsible for conducting research on the building and construction sector of the economy. The team, constituted by the director of the institute, Professor Samson Duna, were in the state to find out the root cause of the collapse. Hence, the meeting with the regulating authority, the Ministry of Urban Renewal, to seek relevant documents to aid their findings, to enable them come up with a proper national document. The Commissioner, Mr. Michael Onoka, commended the team for the visit, saying with the existence and functionality of such institutes, there will be less incidences of bidding collapse. Represented by the permanent secretary in the ministry, Mrs. Charity Ehime, the commissioner noted that the state had been carrying out investigations with relevant agencies to ascertain the cause of the collapse, adding that integrity test was also ongoing, while recommendations had been made to the state governor, Honorable Sheriff Uburawari. He reiterated that the approval of the building was for a six-floor structure as against rumors of a 20-story building being circulated, assuring the visitors that the state would give them the necessary support to carry out their duties. If we have this kind of uh, institute and offices, having this kind of terms of reference to work with, all the incidences of collapse all over Lagos, Abuja, Delta State, all over the third region, investigate and research and we draw inferences in conclusion, we also make amends and learn from our lessons. We have less of such collapse in the future. And the ministry, with all the relevant professionals, we've also packaged, we've done an investigation. And after that, we made our recommendations also to the Excellency. Approval was given for the cutting the road. The leader of the Nibre delegation and head of the Civil Engineering Department in the Nnamdi Azikiwe University, Oka, Anambra State, Professor Akolise Izago, said the research is funded by the Institute and the team had a month to carry out their findings and make recommendations, adding that it was not a witch hunting exercise. Professor Izago appealed to the ministry to finish the team with approved drawing of the project, soil tests evidence of routine checks, evidence of instructions to relevant professionals and amended drawings, if any, while also commending the state for its support to officials from the Nibri who had been in the state at other incidences. Uh, 1977, been carrying out research on collapsed system. But Nibri does not have the mandate to enforce their recommendations and their findings. But the essence is that professionals have access to the publications arising from Nibri's finding. Corporate bodies should always look out for information arising from findings of Nibri. A fact-finding mission it is. It is also believed that at the end of this mission, those who are going into construction of high-rise buildings or infrastructures of high magnitude would have documents to work with that would guide them to avoid future building collapse. Eunice, Emiasia, reporting.